Hey everybody, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to Game Tutorial. A while back I made a transition tutorial called Cartoonish Circle, and now I've updated that, and you can see side by side the differences between the two. I prefer the new one that I'm about to show you right now, so let me get up Game Maker Studio, and I'll show you how to create it. In the description you'll find a download link to the project file right in front of me. This is what I will basing this whole tutorial upon. It has a few things, the most important being a, tr a script here called from go to transition. If you've seen my previous videos about transitions, then this will be very familiar. If not, this is a very simple script to check if there's already a transition object created. If not, create it, give it a new room to go to, a type of transition, and how long it's going to take in steps. This is very compatible with all of the transitions on my channel, so later you can check them and uh, this will work with them as well. The first thing we want to do now is to insert a room at the top and call it room initialize. If you already have an initializing object in your project, then you can, can, you can use that to write this code. But just the most important thing is that this code is run at the beginning before any of the object, teleport object or the transition is created. Now in the creation code of this room, we want to write enum transition. Enum standing for enumerator. And we want to have one enumerator called circle. This is good too if you later want to just have multiple enumerator like for slide or fade, but for now we'll just have the single one. Next, we'll have room go to next and that's everything we need to do here so what happens the game starts the room is opened it will run the numerator and go to next room now let's close these tabs and open up the object we want to create says transition important part we need a resistance and it needs a depth of higher lower than anything else so that it's drawn on top we'll add an event event and code action and uh, we'll call it initialize variables there's a few variables we need in here first one being next room set it to negative one kind i'll set that to transition dot circle which is the enumerator we just created the time which is equal to just the random number of six out of the 60 xx this will be the player's new position on the screen uh, X position on the screen after transition and YY, which will do it exactly the same. Then we want circle transition variable, just, just specific for this transition. But this will need a width. I'll set it to room width. We'll need a height, which is room height. Uh, we'll need two radiuses, radii. We'll want to cover the screen and want to remove from the screen. We'll call this one red cover and we'll set it to zero. We want subtract, which is set to zero. We want to know when the screen is covered and we want to remove parts from it. So we'll call new object, a new variable, call it subtracting. And we need last but not least a surface to draw on. We'll call this surf circle. And this will be a good surface create. With And of course, if you've been working with surfaces before, you should know the fact that every time you create a surface, you also need to free the memory of it. So we will call it surface. Free memory. And we'll do surface free sur circle. Next up is the step event. We'll add in some code action. We'll write here expanding radius. This is a radii. I have no idea how to write it. Yeah. We'll check if we're subtracting. And we also have an else function. If not, so if you're subtracting, we'll have to see if the radius that we are currently working with subtract is has covered the screen or not. So we'll set it to width. Normally it's good to set to width, but I found out that width times 0 0.9 makes it a little bit quicker for me. So that works. And if uh, and the reason it's written width here and not height is because my width in this room is bigger than my height. If it's the opposite, like if you're making a mobile game and this height is bigger, then you will have to do the opposite. 
if that's so, we can increase this with width divided by time half of the time. This is make sure that uh, we'll be using half the time to remove the transition, half the time to increase it to do the transition. You will see when this is done. Then we want to do else, and if the transition is completely done, we want to destroy the object. Now, this will be the part that will be covering the screen, the radii that will be covering it. So we'll do radius cover, and we want to do have it the same size. And we'll use the exact same code as here. So I'm just gonna copy it and change this to cover. What if we want to now, what if it's done covering the screen, I mean, and now we want to remove the transition. Well, then we do set subtracting the equals to true. And then I'm also going to do a perform an event, EV, other EV user 2, EV user 0, I mean, which is where the transition happens, where you go change the room. So we can do that next. Other user defined user 0. Here we want to just write change room teleport player. We want to change room, so room go to. I almost forgot the script. And the room go to will be next room. Then we want to see do we need to teleport player? And the, easiest, the easy way to do that is if xx is not equal to negative 1, which is the value set in the create event, that means we have changed it. So we want to move the player to that new xx position. And the same for yy. Next up, we will actually, actually, but the thing is, we are not finished with the code itself, but now we need to go over to drawing it on the screen to be able to see it. So we'll do cover screen, and we'll see if we're not subtracting, that means then we're covering. Subtracting. We want to one, set the color. I'll be using C black for this example. And we want to just draw a circle with the radius that we already got. We want the center of the circle to be in the middle of the screen, so with half the width and half of the height. And the radius to be uh, RID underscore cover. And we don't want it to be an outline only. Next up, we also need to see, and this is to remove transition. And here it is, the subtracting has to be true. So if subtracting, we want to also do check if the surface is still existing. Surfaces are, have this tendency to just delete themselves when you're need, uh, using them. So we want to always check to if they exist before using them. So if the surface exists, and if it doesn't exist, or so else we want to so surf circle is equal to surface create with height. Now inside of these brackets is the word more most complex part of this transition is the way I've set it up is the fact that you will set surf circle as the surface target. You will draw a black square or rectangle to cover the whole screen, and then you will have a circle that will be removing parts of this. Rectangle, if this makes any sense. I mean, you've seen it happen in the first, in the beginning of this video. So we want to first set draw uh, color to black, or this will be the exact same color that you use for to cover the screen. Then we want to surf, set the target of the surface to our surface. Uh, we want to cover the screen with a black rectangle, so from 0, 0 to width height. Then we want to set the blend mode to BM subtract. Draw circle 
at width divided by two, height divided by two, the radius rates are at subtract. And then draw set blend mode DM normal. Last but not least, we want to set reset the target of the surface, and then we want to draw the surface. That is basically all you need to do for this transition. Now, this is something I've already done because this is the prop. Uh, this uh, project file is the one I used to make the previous transition. But you will have to have some kind of object that's teleporting you from one place to another. Here we're using the door. And inside this OBJ door, I have the same X and Y, X, X, Y, Y, next room and kind. I have a step event that says whenever the player is colliding with it and the player has this basically is the this is the variable i'm using to check if the player is pressing the up key on his up arrow, arrow up key and if it is you want to run the script and this time also the 60 this is the time this is the script that i showed you at the start you want to set the if the x x and y y value of this object is not equal to negative one. You want to change this transitions x x and y y. Not that it really matters here because I'm using this in one plane for the y value. And then inside of the room, you want to go onto that object that you're using. Go in right click and go to creation code. And you want to set the next room. This is the last thing that you need to do. With this next room set, you're set to go. And your transition is finished. And here we go. Transition is finally finished. It's clean. It's nice. It works exactly as you expected. You go into the door and you press up and you go to the next room and vice versa. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you'll find more transition videos and game maker tutorials on my channel. And while you're there, you might as well just subscribe if you enjoyed them. And if you really want to make a difference and help me create more tutorials in the future, then you can find my Patreon page on the screen and in the description. But until next time, goodbye and have a great day.